organization of the syllabus. The syllabus is arranged as a set of topics as outlined below. Each topic is defined by its specific objective and content slash explanatory notes. It is expected that students would be able to master the specific objectives and related content after pursuing a course in mathematics over five years of secondary schooling. So you have the different sections from sections 1 to 9. They are number theory and computation, consumer arithmetic, sets, measurement, statistics, algebra, relations, functions, and graphs, geometry and trigonometry, and vectors and matrices. Now the form of, that, of the exam, the examination will cover two papers, that's paper one, an objective type paper, which is a multiple choice, and paper two, an essay or problem solving type paper. Now paper one, that's one hour and 30 minutes. This, the paper will consist of 60 multiple choice items from all sections of the syllabus as outlined below. And you can see the different sections, that's the nine sections and how many items you will get to answer. Each item will be allocated one mark. And then paper two, two hours and 40 minutes that will take you. And the, this paper consists of 10 compulsory type questions. And you have the marks allocated here. What you need to do is just make sure you get all the marks. Now, sets is not included in paper two, but it will be in paper one. As for the investigation question, the investigation question may be set on any combination of objectives in the syllabus. All right, so you'll have the various sections and the marks allocated ranging from nine marks to 20 marks. You have nine, 10, 12, 20, 21 marks from each section. 10 marks from the investigation. You just make sure that you get all the marks when exam time comes, right? Then you have a school-based assessment, which you would have done earlier. It comprises a project that's paper 031. It's valued 20% of the total assessment. The project requires candidates to demonstrate the practical application of mathematics in everyday life. In essence, it, cons it should allow candidates to probe, describe, and explain a mathematical area of interest and communicate the findings using mathematical symbols, language, and tools. The topics chosen, the topic or topics chosen may be from any section or combination of different sections of the syllabus. All right, and there is an SBA guide in this syllabus. And you have paper 032, alternative to paper 031. This paper is an alternative to paper 031, an alternative to the SBA, and is intended for private candidates. All right, those who are not registered through a school, an educational institution. This paper comprises two compulsory questions. The topic or topics tested may be from any section or combination of different sections of the syllabus. Then there is the certification and profile dimensions. The subject will be re re examined for certification at the general proficiency in each paper, items and questions will be classified according to the kinds of cognitive demand made as follows. Knowledge requires recall of rules. That means you remember. 
procedures you recall procedures definitions and facts that is items characterized by rote memory as well as simple computations and constructions so that tests your ability or examines your ability to remember then there's comprehension it requires algorithmic thinking that involves translation from one mathematical mode to another that means you understand you understand what you're supposed to be doing you understand why you're doing what you're doing use of algorithms and application of these algorithms to familiar problems situations all right that mean you can apply what you're doing to various situations as required then reasoning reasoning requires translation of non-routine problems into mathematical symbols and then choosing suitable algorithms to solve the problems all right so you know how to look at an everyday well not really in everyday it's non-routine problems look at a fairly complex problem and use mathematics to solve that problem there are those problems b combination of two or more algorithms to solve problems the algorithms mean step-by-step -step process use of an algorithm or part of an algorithm in reverse in a reverse order to solve a problem all right so if you understand how to go from beginning to end you should be able to go from end back to beginning in a reverse order to solve a problem you are given the outcome of a situation you go back to what possibly could have led to that situation see use of an algorithm or part of an algorithm in reverse order to solve a problem the interfaces and generalizes from given data or interfaces and generalizations from given data so you look at a particular situation and you examine if you can make a general statement from it that applies to other situations e justification of results are statements that mean you can explain why the results are correct or why the results are valid or why they are not valid and analysis and synthesis analysis means you take the situation apart and examine bit by bit synthesis means you look at the different parts of a situation put them all together and thereby solving a problem all right candidates performance will be reported on the knowledge comprehension and reasoning then the weighing of the papers you have the knowledge comprehension and reasoning paper one 60 marks paper two 100 mar marks and paper three 40 so you have a total of 200 marks so in the terms of percentage the multiple choice is valid 30 percent the written paper paper 2 that's 50 percent almost well very close enough you know the multiple choices is as a lot of weight compared to the paper 2 the written paper and then 20 percent for the sba to give you a total of 100 percent all right so none of these should be neglected make sure you give your all to paper one paper two and paper three
Now, as for receipt paper candidates, receipt candidates must complete paper one and two and paper three of the examination for the year for which they are receipt. They re-register. Re receipt candidates may up to complete the SBA or may up to reuse their previous SBA scores, which satisfies the condition below. That means if you're doing the exam again, you may use your old SBA score as long as it's a pass. A candidate who rewrite the examination within two years may reuse the moderated SBA score earned in the previous sitting within the preceding two years. Candidates reusing SBA scores in this way must register as a receipt candidate and provide their previous candidate number. So, if you pass the SBA and you're going to reset the exam, that mark for the SBA is valid for two years. If you make two years pass, and then you're going to reset, you'll have to redo the SBA. All reset candidates may register through schools recognized educational institutions or the local registers registered office. As for regulations for private candidates, private candidates must be registered for the examination through the local registrar in their respective territories and will be required to see paper 1, paper 2 and paper 032. Paper 032 is designed for candidates whose work cannot be moderated by tutors in recognized educational institutions. The paper will be of one hour duration and will consist of two questions. That's the alternative to the SBA. All right? Then we have the symbols used in the examination papers. So you examine these symbols. The symbols shown below will be used on examination papers. Candidates, however, may make use of any symbol or none the nomenclature, provided that such use is consistent and understandable in a given context. Measurements will be given in SI units. So use meters instead of yeah, so you use meters, centimeters, kilometers instead of feet, inches, yards, miles. Alright? Use SI units. Use kilograms instead of pounds and so on. So you have more and more, more and more symbols there. All right. Quite a number of symbols, and then there's a formula sheet, formula and formula and tables provided in the examination. So you make use of this in exam. The use of electronic calculators. Remember, you must have. A scientific calculator you will not be allowed to use your phone candidates are expected to have an electronic non-programmable calculator and and are encouraged to use such an exam in such a calculator in paper 2 not in paper 1 you will not be allowed to use any calculator in the multiple choice guidelines for the use of electronic calculators are listed below they must be silent Electronic handheld calculators. Calculators should be battery or solar powered. Well, just about all calculators I know nowadays are. Candidates are responsible for ensuring that calculators are in working conditions. Candidates are permitted to bring a set of spare batteries in the examination room. No compensation will be given because of faulty battery. No help or advice is permitted on the use or repair of calculators during the examination. Sharing calculators is not permitted in the examination room, so you should have your own. Instruction manuals and external storage media, such as smart cards, plug-in modules, 
flash drive and so on are not permitted in the examination room candidates with graphical calculators with graphical display data bank dictionary or language translations are not allowed calculators that have the capability of communication with any agency in or outside of the examination rooms are prohibited all right and so are certain electronics like tablets phones and nowadays there are some smart watches those will not be permitted all right so you have different sections and the contents under them and you should practice bearing in mind all of these sections and their contents all right So you have the various sections. I have two more there. There is section seven, eight geometry and trigonometry, and then we come to section nine vectors and matrices. Alright. Alright, so there's a guideline for a school based assessment. You should read carefully through these guidelines be guided by your teacher and ensure that you observe all ethical legal and permitted procedures not to copy no plagiarism right ensure that you your work is your own if you work in group there is no plagiarism and you must ensure that the work handed in by the group will not be penalized for plagiarism because everyone will suffer even if you did everything right and somebody else did something wrong you are going to not only that person but you also will pay the penalty for that all right so that's it for now looking through the the syllabus the section of the syllabus what we're going to do at another time is look at the glossary of mathematical term that should be interesting so later on then i'll see you